In this video, I'm gonna show you a step-by-step -step process of actual starting and stopping of freshwater generator. First, open the ejector overboard valve, which is usually located at the bottom floor ship's hull side. Then, on the freshwater generator, open the ejector inlet valve and vacuum adjust valve. Now you can start the ejector pump. In most design, ejector pump is located beside the freshwater generator. But in this kind, it's located at the bottom floor and it's common to the Texel pump. Now, on the freshwater generator, shut the pressure vacuum breaker. Open the condenser cooling seawater inlet and outlet. Then open the feed valve to a desired pressure. When the shell establish at least 70 to 90 percent vacuum, slowly start heating. By first crack open heating outlet, then heating inlet, then throttle the bypass valve. When the shell temperature reach 50 to 54 degrees Celsius, open the distillate pump discharge valve and the valve after the flowmeter. Then start the distillate pump, switch on the salimeter, and adjust the distillate pressure as well as other necessary setting on the heater side and cooling side. Once all okay and well adjusted, switch on the chemical dosing pump. This chemical prevents a scale formation on our fresh water generators and pipings, but at minimal and as safe for human consumption. First, Press the alarm cut on the salinity indicator, then press switch off. Then stop the distillate pump, shut the discharge valve, and the valve after the flowmeter. Next, secure the evaporator side or heater side. First, pull open the bypass valve of jacket heating. Then, shut the inlet and outlet heating. Next, switch off the chemical dosing pump. Now wait an hour to cool down the pressure water generator. When the freshwater generator shell temperature close to or same with the temperature of seawater, you can also secure the cooling side as well as the ejector pump. Shut the feed valve, shut the seawater cooling inlet and outlet valve, open the PV breaker, stop the ejector pump, shut the ejector seawater inlet valve and vacuum adjust valve. And lastly, shut the overboard valve. You may also drain the freshwater generator if you plan to stop for a long time. I hope by now you may be able to start stop the freshwater generator. Also, you might need to know about fresh water generator maintenance. That's why I created another video just for you. Just click this video and see you there.